I think we'll start this out with an example of what the hell of change is you're going to have a task. Underwater by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, right. we might be wrong. Well, in order to understand that, we need to have a nice picture. So which kind of level do you want? So now I can no longer get to my boogers. This day, I have, I'm gonna have to drink today. I just this. Why not? I'm just gonna drink right now. Doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter at all. I got what I wanted. Unbelievable! What a damn day. <sighs> Let me give you the rundown on what the hell's going on today because it's been a day. I've been working for Steven's self storage stuff. I mean, these guys are a piece of work. So we've got this new gig. They hired me to do some OBM type stuff with them. <laughs> We'll get there, all right? But let me just tell you what the day is like. All right, so they hired me to do this curriculum, um, this Carl's Corporation Correction Curriculum thing. So Carl's Corporate Correction, what the hell ever? It doesn't even matter what the name of it is. My big point is, is that I haven't even seen it. I don't know anything about it. They wanted to deliver the thing. So, and Stephen came to me and said, hey, can you pull this off? I'm like, of course I can pull it off. What the hell are you thinking? I know exactly everything. So I went online. And I checked out this intervention, um, this Carl's Corporate Corporation Correction Curriculum, or whatever you want to call it. So I checked out this curriculum. I didn't find anything. I mean, they've got a website and they sell it, but no research, no nothing. It's all a bunch of hooey, as far as I can tell. No one has put it to an empirical test. Nobody has done squat from Shinola to evaluate this thing. It's absolutely unbelievable. So, but you know what? I need to make money. I don't give a hoot. Who cares? We're going to implement this thing. And I've been doing this stuff for a while, so I think I can absolutely pull it off. Um, and in fact, on the first day on the job, it was crazy. I bill out $500 a day. So I'm sitting here at lunch. I've worked like a total of two hours, and I'm billing out 500 bucks. This is classic. I love it. I didn't even look at the curriculum. I just kind of pulled it out of my bum and I was like, I know what I can pull off. I know I can do this. We can just do the baseline assessment from here on out. So that's all I got to do is do that initial assessment. And then guess what? I can get paid 500 bucks a day. Isn't that crazy? I suppose I should tell you a little bit more about this story. My brother actually is Steven. And he's the one that owns the place that I'm working for. He gave me a hell of a time as a kid. The used to grab my ears he beat the crap out of me he did all sorts of stuff that i was did i call him a bastard? i guess that implies something else about myself anyway so steven was he was over the top he was completely had enough of me i and but you know what now he needs my help so guess what that means that means i get to have a little bit of fun and not only that not only do i get to have a little bit of fun with his money well, like i told you earlier i don't know any of this curriculum he's asking me to teach i just don't care one more fun little thing about Steven. <laughs> I teach a class at the local university, right? So I am teaching about business management. I'm teaching about how to handle these sorts of scenarios with, um, with admin issues and with personnel issues and all those sorts of things. And who's in my class? His wife! My sister-in-law is in his class. Well, that's all right. I mean, we, we, I, I kind of had the hots for her for a while. I mean, but um, ultimately speaking, I think we're okay right now. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem that I, you know, that I, that I work for Steven's company. Like I'm giving, telling him what to do and I'm supervising his wife. Um, all I know is that she keeps asking me what she can do to make sure that she gets a good grade in her class. Hell if I know. So I just know it's time to drink. All right. Anyway, enough about my brother's wife. I mean, uh, she's hot. Sorry. I... I need more alcohol. All right. Anyway, I think, I think we got this one. I think we can milk these buggers for more cash. They don't really know what this intervention is like, right? I barely know what this intervention is like. So functionally speaking, this is a supposedly a 10 week program, which I read about this morning. I told my brother, Steven, that this thing's going to be like, I don't know, 20, 20 sessions, 20 weeks worth of programming. So I'm going to train all his managers. I'm going to train all his middle managers. And I'm going to end up training all his staff. I got a BCBA working with me. I, they don't even know what the hell's going on. They're just waiting for me to tell them. I need to get to the end of the year. All right? And I don't have any other contracts lined up. So this is kind of like the only thing that I got going. We often talk about teaching people to fish. Well, you know what? Screw that. I'm just going to teach them to go out and eat. 
I don't need him to go fish right now. I need him to put fish in my pocket. I need to be able to feed my family. So I am absolutely going to focus on milking this for as long as I can. I don't, you know, they've, ethically speaking, they've hired like 30 people anyway. So none of what I'm doing is going to have any bit of effect at all uh, because they've already hired tons of people. Um, so it, if they want to measure effectiveness, hooey, it's not even going to happen. I don't even care anymore. I'm just about collecting a paycheck, baby. That's all I am after tonight. And you know what? At $500 a day, that's a hell of a paycheck. <laughs> So we've, we've, talked to the we've literally started taking data. How are you doing, man? Oh, I'm good. I'm taking data, man. I'm telling you, I've been working on this stuff all week long. So, um, and so we've been, you should take a look at the data. Come here for a second. Look at the Can you imagine? Look at that crap. There's data there. we got all sorts of data that we're looking at. Holy crap, that's a good one right there. Unbelievable. What the, What are you doing with my data? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm unbelievable. Sorry. I'm sorry. We got we that unbelievable data. The data is wonderful. Unfortunately, it's time for the door. I can't think it's not yet. Yeah. It's not time for the door yet. I can't leave yet. I've still got more drinking to do. I got to talk more about data. So anyway, so I chatted with these ideas about all sorts of people. So I have with lots of ideas. I have, lots of, I have <laughs> lots of data. Unfortunately, your data is completely trumped but, by that drink. But, you might be slightly right. So I got to finish talking about what I'm talking about. So I mean, because I, I got this business over a barrel. Well, what the hell else am I going to do? I have no idea. Fortunately, that drink is gone. Oh, I gotta keep it. I've only got like one. I know it's only like three o'clock in the afternoon. It's only like five. I'm dirty. Yeah, we're getting in there. I'm not. I'm not gonna admit to you guys. Real time. Hold on, hold on. Before you go any further, can I get you to interpret? I mean, I'm gonna share with you my notes about this company. Sure. It's. I mean, look at these. They are making the complete. So you hate being an employee, and you hate, the, and you also hate the, the owner. Right? Well, he's my brother. I don't hate him. I just want to milk him for every penny he's his worth. Because when I was a kid, he just gave it to me. I had enough. So finally, I get to suck it back up to him. Just to kind of summarize that. Uh, I, I'm working with this company. I'm doing ABA, but I am not going to tell these buggers about it. If I tell them about ABA, they'll figure out what's going on. And I'm going to keep my ABCPA in the dark. I want everybody to be mushrooms because the moment that these people figure out that I'm milking them, I'm out. I'm done. Oh, one more thing that's really important. <laughs> I never signed an agreement about how we're going to terminate the contract. We're, nothing. As far as, as far as Steven knows, he's going all out for months. That bugger is going to get soaked. And I know he's made millions with all of his people. I don't care too much. I've had enough of it. I'm getting my own. fucking red shirts up in this place. I gotta tell you about this recent plan. In fact, I'm not even gonna really tell you about the plan because I haven't even told Steven, the owner, about this darn plan. We're gonna use this thing called Mega Managers. Basically, they just need to go around telling people <laughs> when people are effing up, when they're doing wrong. In fact, when they even think about doing wrong, I want the managers to get completely up there. Why? Because that'll just teach everybody. That'll teach them to deal with all this that they have to deal with every day. They won't learn what the hell to do, but we don't care. Who needs reinforcement anyway? Reinfor reinforcement? There's enough reinforcement. The only thing that we got to worry about for reinforcement is you getting your darn paycheck. You don't want your job? Fine. Somebody else will take it from you. That's all I have to say about that particular issue. So F off, Stephen. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> You'll see. Oh, hell no. You probably wonder what the hell I'm doing at the bar at one in the afternoon because I got all these buggers... I got all these buggers working on my schedule. I don't even care about that. I just told them that this is the time that I'm available and they're going to deal with it. And you know what? I like to stay up late at night. I like to drink all afternoon afternoon and evening. <laughs> um, so here we go. A little more crown for the night. Mm. These buggers can just basically F off. I don't really care. It's all about me. It's all about my time. I don't care what they do. I don't care how they do it. I don't give two at all about what's going on around me at the moment. I just want to make sure that I get my paycheck and that's all I have to worry about at the end of the day. So 
um, I think that now is probably the time that I should start feeling like I should exit <laughs> the bar. Oh, oh no! Oh.